direct views. We have uh, managed to find some anti-Trump protesters. And as you know, on this show, we cover both sides of the event. So uh, what is your name right here? Okay. All right, are you with a particular group? No, we're, we're just students. Okay, so it's just like, uh, what are some of your favorite things about Hillary and what are some of the things that you dislike most regarding Trump? Can you give me one more? I don't like the fact that he brings hate to our country. I have to like the Like, of course, we had our ups and downs as a society, but we're starting to come together and then he comes in and it's kind of like we have to go back to where we were before. And I don't like that. I also don't like the fact that people don't realize that he's never really worked today. And it's like he's not the person that had to struggle. He hasn't came from where you come from, who had to build up to where they are. He's never done that. And I don't understand how someone, I understand, sir, but I don't understand that in 99 percent, people who have to work in 95, people who have to make sure that they're okay or are certain of if they're going to be able to pay their rent or survive the very next day. I don't like that. And I feel like he, he brings down a lot of people. And what did he think you hear about? He really like offends every he's offended every person known to me. He's offended the Jews, he's offended the Muslims, he's offended the Mexicans. He's offended blacks. Like he's offended he's offended the minority. Right. Like we're not saying that you have to vote for Hillary Clinton. I don't really care with like a Hillary sign. I'm just saying I think that even if you talk to a lot of people, people will say like, oh I'm not a racist or a bigot. If you aren't, then why would you endorse this or someone who says something like that? So I'm gonna call the person a racist or a, a rapist just from being from the place that they're from. Uh, that's, that's racist behavior. And if you endorse someone, you do that. But I'm not going to be represented by someone who, who's not professional, who doesn't know what is appropriate and inappropriate to say in a professional setting, who wants to represent me as an American and says those things. Uh, in closing, what, are, what, was, what is it about Hillary that I know you mentioned that a lot of the comments that Trump made were seen as racist in terms of bringing people in? What do you think that would be the best way to make sure that the people that are coming from, say, Arab lands are going to be if they have come into the country illegally, how do we make sure that they've come from to not to sell heroin or rape? How would you, what do you think the best way to regulate this? I think that the system does have a place to in the last five, five, ten years, so I don't think that there needs to be uh, a big change, something as extreme as they like a wall. And uh, lastly, uh, in Mexico, they have Jews and they have various uh, things separating Mexico from Guatemala. Are you equally against that kind of thing? If that's what they want to do as a country, they go ahead. I, I'm not Mexican. I don't know the principles of that country, but I know that I live in America, and these are not the principles that America has been found to. So if those are the principles of Mexico, then you go right ahead. If those are the principles of Guatemala, you go right ahead. But I know that those are not the principles of America, and as an American, I'm not going to speak that. There you go, friends. As you know, we are talking to people on both sides of the aisle with this. Make sure you leave a comment, make sure you hit subscribe, and let us know you appreciate us being out here. Thank you for being on camera, ladies. No, thank you.